No, like sometimes I cannot even believe that this is legal. Try to guess one thing that this woman, this brand and this parody have in common. Well, they don't exist. They never happen. It's all AI images that took me approximately five seconds to generate. I'm gonna be the first one to admit that it is kind of scary to see how good AI is getting nowadays and how easily we can create completely fake reality, but it can also be very useful if you know how to use it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some incredible things that you can do with AI, from business logo to advertising to cartoons and even product packaging. But there is one big but. If you don't know how to use AI, things can take a wrong turn very easily. So before you start your journey with AI images, here are a couple of things that you absolutely need to know. The key to getting great results with AI is using the right prompts. Prompt is the text input that you give to the AI. AI reads your prompts and uses that as information to create what you're looking for. And the more specific you are, the more adjectives you use, the more descriptive you are, the better results you're going to get. So let's say that I'm hosting an event in Paris and I want to create some advertising materials, but I don't want to hire models, photographers, rent a space. So what I do is that I'm going to use Photoroom to generate AI images. Photoroom is hands down one of the most user-friendly AI image generator. If I would just write people partying, the results that I'm gonna get are not incredible. They're okay, but they're not amazing. What happens when I'm being way more specific about what I'm looking for? In this case, I'm gonna say young, hip, fashionable people partying on a rooftop in Paris during sunset. And as you can see, the results that I'm getting are incomparable to what I got before, right? It looks so good. Honestly, sometimes when I see it, how realistic it is, it makes me question like, how is this AI even legal? But well, it is for now. So let's enjoy it while we can. The best way to start with AI images is just to get the ball rolling. Start generating your images. And when you see the pictures right in front of your eyes, it will also be easier for you to understand what you're looking for. So for example, in this case, I didn't like the light, the very like yellowish tone of sunset, right? So I changed it into pink sunset. And the results that I got were even better, even more accurate to what I was looking for. I also like playing with words like dramatic, cinematic, even more realistic or more light. Light is a big thing, like also when it comes to normal natural photography, but also with AI. So describe the light. Is it soft, harsh, natural? Texture is another important one. So describe the texture that you're looking for. Is it smooth? Is it silky? Is it sticky? Is it bumpy? I know what you might be thinking now. It all sounds nice and easy, right? Be creative, be descriptive, but I know that this is a big blocker for many people. And it also is a big blocker for me. I think it's very natural that a lot of the time as human beings, we don't even know what we're looking for. That's number one. And number two, I mean, I do admit it is kind of hard to come up with all these adjectives and descriptions. So I'm gonna put some very useful adjectives that you can use on the screen right now so you can pause this video and try to play with them try to use them when you're generating your images but the number one tip that i can give you when you're starting with ai images is use chat gpt chat gpt can be so useful let me show you so i asked chat gpt to give me suggestions of prompts i should use to generate ai images for an event that i'm hosting in paris and what it did is that it didn't only give me suggestions of different prompts as you can see here a stylish minimalist invitation card for an exclusive event in paris no it also gave me suggestions of different things that i can use ai for so i can use ai to create invitations posters social media teaser tickets menu design welcome sign so let's try to do a should we go with an invitation first let's try to see what invitation ai can create for us so all you have to do is open photo room choose ai images and then put your prompt right here there are two things that you can adjust on photo room the first one is the size choose whatever size you want the second one the most important one is the style there are lots of different styles that you can choose on photo room from classic to expressionism to line art to photographic sticker 
watercolor try to play with different styles to see what you like i will go for photographic oh my god i already love this one imagine if i didn't have ai i would have to well either hire a designer or an illustrator to do this okay so let's say that my event company doesn't have a logo yet let me show you how you can create a logo for your business with ai in like literally 10 seconds so you go on ai images and all you have to do is write logo for an event company you can choose the size in this case square will be fine and the style let's start with classic and let's see what ai will suggest for us okay these are cool but let's be more specific a logo for an event company for an in modern minimalistic event company based in paris hold fun oh this is pretty cool i like this as well a great thing about ai is that it can obviously be just the inspiration you can generate as many logo options as you want this and as you can see every single suggestion is unique another thing that i really like to do with ai is not only experiment with styles but also combine them so for example you can combine michelangelo style painting with japanese manga and create cool illustrations or stickers or you could technically make a whole children's book with ai and it really allows you to well save a lot of time and resources for me personally it really boosts my creativity because there's really no limits to what you can do another great thing about ai is that you can also combine it with real elements with real pictures so for example if you are e-commerce sellers you already have your product you can just use ai to generate backgrounds so you can shoot wherever you want you don't have to worry about your surroundings you don't have to worry about getting a professional studio you can use ai as one of the layers or it can also be used as an inspiration to give you an idea where you would like to shoot your products in the future don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have so many more cool videos coming out and also let me know if you guys have any cool ai image generation hacks or any useful prompts that i should test out i would love to do that and yeah i hope this video was helpful for you guys and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.